G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So we've had a few exciting jobs happen, getting all the bed framings and that done, and all, some more flooring, so that's all been excited. Unfortunately, we're gonna get back onto finishing off some of the bilges. So we've got another two bilges to finish off and they're all done. And they're in the aft cabin sort of um, motor room area. So I'm gonna, I've bought some new tools, I'm gonna to try and get it done a lot quicker. So let's see how we go. So this is what I've bought to make my job a little bit easier this time. It's a pneumatic chisel. So when I was doing these big bilges down here, I was doing it all by hand, hammer and chisel, it took a long time. So I'm hoping this is gonna make my life easy. So let's see how we go. I've got these bilges all prepped, ready for paint. However, there is a hole that needs to be welded up. So you can see it's all been chiseled out. All sides have been prepped, all sanded. All the stringers have been sanded. But if we go into this back one here, we've got this hole that needs to be welded up. So the previous owner had drilled a whole series of holes in the bilge that um, <clears throat> instead of having the bilge pump over the years pumping all the water out, he's just popped some holes in so the water didn't build up and it drained out those little holes. So that's the last one that needs to be welded up. Um, as soon as that's welded up, I'm gonna have to get on top of keeping the water out of the boat. Um, so let's get it welded. After hours and hours of sanding, prep work, and grinding, welding, these are now ready for paint. Nice and clean in there. That one's got all the stringers cleaned up now, and all the welds done. There was another weld that had to be done in the back of this corner. 
Everything's prepped, so I'm gonna go outside, mix up some paint, and uh, start pouring some epoxy in.
thought I'd show you the volume of stuff that came out of those two bilges. Got a, a pile here. We'll go up onto the boat and we'll have a look at the pile that we have up there. Got a big pile of pitch here and all this mud that's uh, in this cockpit. I'm gonna have to clean it up, but all that was inside the bilges too. We've got a big pile of pitch here. That was inside the bilge as well. And one of the good reasons why we did it, because we took, this is a big bit of pitch that came out. So that was sitting against the wall here. That's the top and that's sitting on the bottom there. But you can see this is all mud. So that would have been up against the, the wall like that. And it wasn't adhered to the wall and all just mud. It's just dirt and sandblasting grit there. And even on the bottom underneath, all the dirt was getting in underneath. So this was just floating on top of the bare metal. That's why it all had to come out. It was never gonna uh, hold the life of the boat. Uh, so glad I got it all out and I just dropped some dirt in there a little bit but I've got some nice clean bilges now. They do look nice and clean right now. They will get dirty like these too because all the dirt that's all on these walls is getting washed down into here at the moment so by the time I finish and blast and paint all these will remain nice and bright white like that that's the plan anyway so I'm gonna have to clean all this up and get the boat looking nice again I was wondering if this chisel was going to be a good investment. It was only 40 bucks and uh, it saved so much time. I did the last two bilges, which were in a much more convenient, easy to get to spot. Did them in three episodes, so three weeks took me to get them done. This one got those two bilges, which were in a much harder position. I had to basically lean on my belly, reaching all the way in there, full reach to try and um, chisel them all out. And uh, I I got them all done, both of them done in one week. This thing saved me hours and hours and hours of hammering and chiseling by hand. Major investment. Um, I may not use it again, but I don't care. Um, that was a good investment. So that's the end of this week's episode. Those two bilges are done. They're the last two bilges on the boat. All the bottom water line where all the water is going to pull is all done. Happy with that. Um, so next week I'm going to try and get back on the welding. We, we do want to keep continuing and pushing. Um, yeah, getting exciting. So uh, stay tuned next week um, and uh, we'll see what we can get done. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.